Okay, so in the last class we have seen that in the graph theory approach. graph theory approach, you have a few very well defined steps. One, uh, the first step is to identify the standard tree. In any graph, you can draw the trees in very, very different ways, very many different ways and out of that one would satisfy the requirements of being a standard tree. So in it, what are the steps? First, uh, it should include all uh, voltage sources, then max capacitances plus maximum number of resistances plus the necessary number of so that is the logic by which we go in order to identify the standard trees hmm. once we have identified the standard tree then there will be a co tree and immediately we can identify the state variables as the voltages across the tree capacitances and the currents through the co tree inductances. So, that is it. So, the state variables. So, we have identified the state variables, then we have to take each state variable and obtain its differential equation. So, if you are using, if you are starting with say a tree capacitance, so for tree capacitances, The tree capacitances will be in in what? They will be placed in certain branches that form the tree, and you have to uh, for the capacitances you have to remember that when we said we started with the circuit. where our um, the tree structure was, we started from here, we took this one, we took this one, we took this one and any other thing will complete it. So, th this was the tree structure and that was the core tree structure. And then when we started with this particular branch, and try to identify the equation for the tree capacitance V P 1, P 1, then what was the logic then at that time? Where do, do we start? KCL at what? No. Yes, which cut set? The basic cut set the basic cut set involving this particular branch. Okay.
What is the basic cut set? It is a cut set. It is a cut set that includes only one free branch. Okay. It is a cut set that includes only one free branch. So, in this case, how would you cut it? Yeah, you can cut it like this. You can cut it like that. So, there are various ways. Hmm? Fine. So, you have no, this is the only way to cut it. So, for three capacitances, capacitances, write the Kirchhoff's current law for the basic cut set involving that branch and for co tree inductances. So, when we start with the co tree inductance here, this one, how do we start? We start with the basic loop involving this particular branch. Hmm? What is the basic loop? The loop that contains this particular branch, but only one co tree branch. In this case, how do you write that? How do you identify that? This only one co tree branch, a loop. Okay. For co tree inductances, right? K V L. Can you see? Yes. And that more or less completes the story. If you start from these two premises, then you simply express the right hand sides in terms of the state variables, that is all. And that we have seen how to do. So, these are the four basic steps in obtaining the differential equation. When we write the KCL, <coughs> the Kirchhoff's current law involves the currents and the current through a capacitor is C d v d t that immediately identifies the differential part. In this case K v l will be the summation of the voltages out of that one voltage will be the voltage across that inductor where you will substitute it by L d i d t that immediately writes the equation clear. So, that is the procedure and we have seen application of this procedure in some very you know simple circuits, but today let us try out on some relatively problematic cases. Hmm. Say suppose there is a circuit like this, the structure I am retaining because that is a very good structure to <coughs> illustrate things, but I am the only changing the elements. Suppose there is a voltage source here. there was an inductance here, no problem, let it remain. There was a capacitor here, let it remain. Let us replace this resistor by a capacitor and here there was a resistor, let it remain and there was another capacitor here, let it remain. So, all that we have done is that we have changed this resistor by a capacitor from the problem that we solved in the last lecture. Now, in this obviously, the, the graph will remain the same. So, let us uh, no, in order to draw the graph, let us first write the basic graph in thin lines. And then we will Join by thick lines as we identify the, the standard tree. Let us go ahead to identify the standard tree. Now, when we start, then the starting point should be the branch that contains the voltage source. So, this is done included. It should include then maximum number of capacitors. So, this 
this. But now, the moment we try to include another branch, say this one, it, it completes this loop. So, it no longer remains a tree. So, we find that we are unable to include all the capacitances. Okay. So, this one remains out. So, then this one becomes part of the core tree. We are the core tree branches. Fine. Good. So far, no problem. Let us go ahead with it. This was 0, 1, 2, 3 and you have uh, the branches identified as A, B, C, D, E and F. We also have to give the directions of the currents, the assumed directions of positivity and negativity. Let us give it like this. And as I told you in the last class, these are arbitrarily assigned directions and whenever the currents actually flow in the opposite direction, it will have a negative sign. So, once we have identified this structure, how do we start? We start from, from uh, we, we start writing it by saying that my starting point will be say, uh, I am writing the equation for. V, uh, these are this is my C1, this is my C2, this is my C3, this is L, R, E. I am writing say for C1. <coughs> then C1 is here, here I have to identify the identify the the KCL equation with the basic cut set. Okay. So, we have to identify the basic cut set that includes this basic cut set. Where is it? Here. Okay. So, this is the basic cut set. Right. The moment you have done that, we will write the equation as uh, I B i b in going into i c minus i c minus i e is equal to 0, fine. Notice the directions accordingly we have put it. Now, i b, i b is what? i b is i l, i l. Okay. I C, I C was that C D V D T, C one D V C one D T. I E, this one. Well, we have a problem here. Hmm. Nevertheless, we can write it as minus C three D V C three D T. Okay, or V C three is not a state variable, so we need to do something about it, because as we have defined it, this particular branch, even though it is a capacitive branch, it was excluded from the standard tree, so it is not a state variable. So we need to do something about this. Okay, so this is E instead of V C three. Let us write V E because otherwise we will maybe led to believe that this is a state variable, so V e. Now, where do we get V e from? V e uh, will be obtained, V is obtained from loops. So, V e will be obtained from the basic loop containing this branch. Where is the basic loop containing this, this particular branch? 0, 2, 3, 1, 0. Good. So, we need to obtain V e, let us start from here, V e minus V f 
because it is in the opposite direction plus v a minus v c is equal to 0. Right? So, this is the loop uh, 2, 3, 1, 0, 2. Hmm. We have written this. V e, I will put in the left hand side, V e and we will shift other things in the right hand side. So, is equal to V f. What is V f? Okay. V c 2. V a e and V c is no, V c is okay done. Hmm. So, we now substitute it here. What do we, what do we have? We are trying to write down the equation for this. So, let us put that in the in the left hand side and the other things in the right hand side. So, this now becomes uh, d v c 1 d t. Let us keep the c 1 for now uh, here. So, is equal to i l remains minus c 3 now all these will be d d t of this whole thing fine we are substituting this term here from here well expand it i l minus c 3 d v c 2 d t plus C three D E D T minus is it going out? Let us take it like this here C three D V C one D T. V C one is appearing in the left hand side as well in the right hand side. So we shift it here. So we get C 1 plus C 3 D V C 1 D T is equal to I L minus C 3 D V C 2 D T plus C 3 D E D T. Okay. Keep it because as, as at present we can do nothing about it. Uh, we wanted to obtain this, but apparently this also includes this term and this term. Hmm. We are very unhappy about it, but let us proceed. So, now we write the equation for V C 2. Where is V C 2? Here. And where is the branch that takes it? It is here. So, in order to write the equation for this, we will have to obtain a cut set that includes only this branch. Hmm? So, it is huh? yes, so it is this cut set. Huh? Now, we will think in terms of cut set not just the nodes. Huh? So, it is this cut set. The moment you write it, we can write the equation as uh, it is V f going in v f plus v e minus v d equal to 0. Oh, sorry, i, sorry. Cut set will be Kirchhoff's current law. i f plus i e minus i d equal to 0. i f plus i e minus i d is equal to 0. What is i f? The thing that I wanted. C 2 D V C 2 D T I E I E is is what this term plus C 3 D V C V E D T hmm. 
we will not write it as v c 3 because it is not a state variable v e and i d is i d is this one it is v d by r. Okay, now we need to obtain v d where is should it be obtainable from v d v d should be obtainable from the loop basic loop including this fellow which is this okay so we can easily write v d uh, minus v a plus v f equal to 0 so we can simply substitute it here uh, again we will keep this one this side so c 2 d v c 2 d t plus c 3 we know what v e is we will substitute it here d d t of this whole thing v c 2 minus e plus v c 1 minus uh, 1 by r v d is then v a minus v f fine now expand it uh, this appears twice so c 2 plus c 3 d v c 2 d t mm, minus c 3 d e d t plus c 3 d v c 1 d t minus uh, this 1 by r v a e right e plus v f is v c 2 okay again we see that we have arrived at the equation that includes both so this was one equation and this was the other equation this contains both this term and this term this also contains this term as well as this term so you can use these two to eliminate one to obtain the other so it is two equation two unknown problem you can easily solve to obtain this and that individually okay so bring it that is how we obtain the equations clear fine i am not going to do this because you can always do that it's not a big deal third equation there will be three things for il for il how do we write it it will be the kvl including this basic loop where is it it is huh? yes this one hmm. so we will write v a v b and v c only so it will be v b plus v c v b plus v c minus v a Now, V B is L D I L D T plus V C is something that you already know that is V C 1 minus V A is minus E. So, this is simple D I L D T is 1 by L E minus 1 by L V C 1. So, this is the third equation. 
notice one important aspect here what did we do because we had this particular situation where uh, okay let us physically understand why did this problem happen that one capacitor branch was excluded from the standard tree it was because you can identify you can identify a loop that has only capacitances and the voltage sources right when that happens the the k v l over this loop tells you that all the capacitance voltages added together must be equal to this voltage which is externally applied and therefore all the capacitance voltages cannot be independent hmm. at least one will be dependent so which one let's not argue about it because any one could be so we in order in writing this this particular standard tree we have excluded this and therefore made this as the dependent variable notice again that this is not the unique choice of the standard tree we could have done it other ways hmm. for example instead of putting this we could have put in only this in that case this would be the independent variable and that will become dependent variable clear so that is one thing the other thing is that when we ultimately went on to solve it we had a couple of uh, equations from which we had to algebraically solve to extract this this was not necessary in earlier cases so this is a peculiarity of this situation that results from this type of connection number 3 ultimately when you solve it this term will remain huh? this term will remain in the equation both e as well as this term now this term says that a equation will have to be solved ultimately by some means and that has the derivative of the externally applied force this you might say that it's not a big deal yes it is a big deal because this externally applied force could be anything could be sinusoid in which case you are happy if you differentiate it you get a cosinusoid fine but what if it is a square wave you can easily apply a square wave because all that you need to do is to connect that kind of a circuit and turn on a signal generator with the square wave input then what then this particular uh, thing will have to be solved and when you write the program obviously this will assume infinite values at the transition points so at the transition points this fellow will assume infinite values your program will not be solvable and in fact if you connect it like that the circuit will have problems why because this term will actually be applied across the voltages okay so there will be enormous stress felt by the capacitances clear so this tells you that even though on the face of it a circuit connected like this looks simple there is no apparent reason why there is any difficulty with it but there is a circuit theoretic difficulty with it if you connect it really like that then these elements will experience enormous stress large currents will flow through the capacitances and that is why this this gives us the education that we should never connect a circuit so that anywhere in the circuit you can identify a loop that contains only capacitances and voltage sources okay if you do connect or if some way this kind of circuit appears in some kind of a problem then you have to do this way but if you have a choice as an engineer you should never connect a circuit like that fine okay let us do a problem in which a similar problem occurs with inductances in this case we have this circuit connected in a similar way
here in place of the resistor let us substitute it by an inductor here also by an inductor and here also here a resistor and this one let us replace it by a current source not a voltage source so far we have not solved a problem with a current source so, so let us do this so this is the externally applied current i and here you have the c here you have l1 l2 and l3 here is your r so 1 2 3 0 its graph is obviously the same so let us identify the the branches again when we when we start the business we have to start from by including all the voltage sources there is no voltage source here so we do not bother about it then we have to include all the or uh, maximum number of capacitors there is only one so we start from here okay then we have to include the maximum number of resistors which is here so we we include this first and then the number of inductances necessary to complete it complete the tree so which one say we could do it this way we could do it this way we could do it this way but not both just one so let us say we have done it this way so the rest then becomes the co tree let us put the numbers 0 1 2 3 and the names a b c d e f the directions Now let us start the business. We start writing it by identifying the places where we want to uh, write down the differential equations. So differential equations, the state variables will be what? The co tree inductances. So I, I L one here is in co tree. This one is in co tree. So I L Three, all right, but this one is not in the co tree. This one is not in the co tree, and therefore the L two will be excluded. And there is only one capacitor which is in the tree, so it will be V C only. There is no one two because there is only one capacitor. So let us start by writing it for I L one. I L one is here, here. So we need to identify the identify what the loop basic loop involving this this branch. Where is it? It is there. Okay. So let us write it. It is V B plus V D minus V F is equal to zero. Okay. V B is L1, sorry, L, L1, D, I, L1, DT, VB is this, VD as yet we do not know. So let us take it this side minus is equal to minus VD is L2, D, T, I, D, I will write because this is not a state variable d t and this one is plus v f is 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 r i f okay now at this stage we need to identify what i f is 
okay and we need to identify what id is id id should be obtainable from the from from the cut set where only this one app, uh, appears where is it this whole thing here to cut right so we need to cut like this in order to get this cut set out the moment we have done that we can write cut set uh, a b d e so we need we write i a plus i b minus i d minus i e is equal to 0 okay going from the from the upper subgraph to the lower subgraph is positive so this is plus this is plus this is minus this is minus fine i a is i okay i b i b is i l 1 which is which is a state variable we are happy minus i d is something that we want to find out i e is i e is uh, that is i l 3 is equal to 0. So, we have got it we extract it and substitute it here. Hmm. We also need to find out this one i f i f should be found uh, from the basic cut set include that includes this branch where is the basic cut set this one. Huh? So, that is obtainable as i f this way plus i b plus i a is equal to 0. Substitute these two i b we know it is i l 1 and i a we know it is this i. So, we substitute it here. After the substitution, we get L1 d i L1 d t is equal to minus L2 d d t of i plus i L1 minus i L2 i 3 plus r minus i plus i l 1 ok. I have substituted now expand it you will get uh, r i l 1 minus r i then the derivative terms plus we can get one term this side. So, it will become L 1 plus L 2 d i L 1 d t this term goes here. So, the remaining terms are L 2 d i 3 d t <coughs> minus L 2 d i d t this is the externally applied current. Again you see here we have the I L 1 d t appearing here the I I L 3 appearing here and d i d t also appearing in the same way that happened for the last circuit. Again we if you write down the equation for I L 3 that is a state variable. Let us see i f plus i b plus i a is equal to 0 the last time you are talking about right. So, we wanted to find out i f. So, 
both will be minus i Okay. No. These two will have opposite signs, all right? Yes. Huh? But this one goes to this side, and it is here. So R times minus I B plus I. I is I. I. Here, yes, you are right, because I have given the sign this this way, and here it is this way, so it is just that. Fine, you are right. So for I L three, what do we have? Which I L three? We need to <coughs> identify a uh, loop that contains. This one, uh, where is that loop? This loop. So we will write V E is equal to minus V C plus V D. Okay. Then we will write L three D D I sorry D I L three d t is equal to uh, what is v c okay minus v c this is a state variable so we are happy plus v d is this this term which okay we can we can we had the same problem here we will extract it so plus l2 d i uh, l2 dt but this term we need to substitute is exactly in the same way as we have done here so substituting this equation we have oh i i should have write written id when you substitute you get uh, is equal to minus v c plus l 2 d d t of this whole thing which is i which is minus i right because this hmm, minus i plus i l 1 minus i L three. Okay. So now you get this thing out in the same side. You have uh, L two plus L three of D I L three D T is equal to minus V C plus l2 di l1 dt minus l2 di dt fine again we have this equation and this equation we have two equation two unknown problem solve it And there will be another state variable which is which is V C for it the equation will be trivial. For V C the equation will have to be obtained from the from where? Containing this and where is it? Here. This part set. 
So, quickly write the equation. You will write I C is equal to I E minus I A and then you will write the equation. I am not bothering about it. Hmm. C D V C D T is equal to I L 3 I A, it will be plus I, right, it is uta in the opposite direction. Hmm. So, you can easily get the C in the other side, you get the equation. Well, so we have more or less understood that in this case also you run into the same problem. We have the equation involving a couple of equations from which these two terms need to be extracted, a algebraic problem can be solved, but what we end up with also will contain this and this term will mean that the externally imposed current will have to be differentiated in the equations which will be difficult to solve in, uh, in reality in computer programs and in fact when you actually connect the circuit in this way, this will cause actually a problem because this cannot instantaneously vary. If it does, then d i d t will be applied as a voltage on these uh, inductors. Now, why this problem happened? Can you identify why this problem happened? Yes, something forms that contains only with the current source and the inductors, this loop, current source and the inductors. Therefore, all the currents in the inductors cannot remain independent variables and whenever that happens, there is a practical circuit problem and you should understand that you should never connect a circuit like that. Okay. For the details of this kind of circuits, we will come back because these are something that is very rarely understood by electrical engineers. So, we have to understand it even more carefully, we will come back. But now, let us give you a few uh, problems to solve at home before we go into the uh, next kind of topic. Solve these problems. The source current, source voltage L R 1 R 2 C 1 C 2, fine. Number 2, there is a source here uh, then is connected to resistance to another resistance here here you have a resistance and then okay, let us replace it by a capacitance, then you have another voltage source an inductor, a resistor and maybe let us connect a current source here. another voltage source resistance. Okay. So, there are many resistances R 1, R 2, R 3, R 4 and this is L. This is E A, E B and E C. Fine. Have you copied? Fine. Third problem.
of it. Third problem, you have got a voltage source connected with a capacitor with an inductor with another capacitor with a resistor here and we have resistor coupling here C1, C2, L, R1, R2, E. Okay. All right. Have you copied? Fine. One important exercise is where you identify uh, the problem where, okay, let us first draw the circuit capacitor, supposing there is a resistor here, an inductor here, a resistor here and there is a capacitor here. Okay, will the mesh current method be applicable to this? Agreed? No, it will be applicable because it is not actually a overlap. You can easily break it by moving it from there to okay so whenever you are given a circuit first thing just because it shows with a overlap that doesn't mean it's a non planar circuit it can it can be made a planar circuit huh? sometimes you also think about think in this line but let us handle some truly non planar circuit i'll give you first let us take another planar circuit we have because most circuits are actually planar in VLSI to these days we are starting to use non planar circuits. So, you need to understand that also. not visible so this is the circuit now i'll give you just one more problem to solve which is a non planar circuit So, this is a hopelessly non planar circuit. So, by doing nothing you can get it to into a plane. So, write down the graph of it and solve this problem. Okay, fine. That is all about you today.